Yo, hey everybody. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the process of replacing this pretty bagged out cable on this Shimano Revo Shift, Revo Shift. I'm not sure how you would pronounce that, but anyway, that you know, this is a very common shifter on lot, lots of kids' bikes, and it's kind of a bit of a mystery how to get that cable out of there. This one, the old dad had worked on it a bit, has the cable routed incorrectly here, but I mean the main problem was this cable was just really bagged out. So in order to actually access the inner cable, you, there's a little piece there um, that locks this top cover on and then, you know, sorry for this kind of shaky camera work, I'm actually trying to film and work on it simultaneously, which is bigger challenge than you would realize but anyway this bike's it's got qu quite a few battle scars and a little beat up I think these are the original cables that came with the bike so anyway if you just push in on those pieces with a small flathead screwdriver there's one there it's pretty loose and so I you know normally I would have my hand covering that piece but I have the camera on it so it kind of flipped away but basically you just push in on those and it pops out you got that little purple piece in there and you can see the end of the cable the little cable head there and uh, so it's with the, the actual little lens cover and then the piece you know where it clips on so remove that gives you access to get to the cable so so the biggest cause of shift issues on you know on any index shifting bike is the poor shift cable performance which you know it degrades over time especially on a kid's bike like this that's seen a lot of action and crashes and things like that. So, uh, yeah, going to take it apart. And anyway, I'm just backing the cable off there. This one's got this weird tourney derailleur with the pulley thing. Some of them are going to have this, some may not. But, um, yeah, I just unhooked it there. And then usually it's easiest to cut it up upstream just a little bit and cut it there and then pull it the cable out from the derailleur down because if you try to pull that frayed you know cable where it's been into the bolt into the nut there that secures it or the pinch bolt it's going to just get clogged up in the mechanism and cause more headaches so um yeah you can see anytime you see those wires hanging out and then this one you know kids bike they're going to get rowdy with it it's been wrecked and bars twisted around so that cable's pretty sad shape and a, a inner wire and cable just will not work through there so um, got to just start inner wire and if I push out on it you can see it there's a little pocket so you need a pick or a little screwdriver or something to pop it out you know from there pull the cable on out and you're ready to install your new one so uh, yeah again sorry for the shady camera work but you're going to push it straight through it's got a little angle where it rubs through push it through the hole make sure it's all the way secured down there so it's you know just like so it's got a little cable guide there and just pull it pull it all the way through and uh, make sure that the end of the cable the cable head portion or whatever you want to call it is firmly locked into that little pocket so once you get here you know, twist that guy all the way as far forward as it'll go and you're ready for the next step. I'm using Shimano SP41 shift housing, which is inexpensive and, you know, it's honestly probably a better option than the original Jaguar cables that came on it. Um, once you, I just cut them to the original size. It seemed like a decent option. Um, but you want to take, take your pick or whatever and open up those little holes in the Teflon tubes there so um, cable slides into it the inner wire and then make sure you push the little end caps all the way on till they're bottomed out all the way because if you don't shift it a couple times they're going to compress on there and then you're going to have to redo the cable tension over and over so I'm just manually before I hook anything up I'm checking the rear derailleur pedaling and just checking it through the range make sure it's not over shifting going into the spokes or under shifting or anything wacky um, make sure you this is our little there's a little no turn washer there there's a flat spot where the cable goes under and then you got this little l-shaped part that un goes underneath the derailleur 
A lot of folks make the mistake of putting it under the little L-shaped part, but you want it under the flat part, just like I have it right here. So that's a big mistake a lot of guys make hooking it up to the rear derailleur. So uh, anyway, I think I test test uh, fitted a few times, worked on it, and it's shifting great. So now we're just going to pop our little cap back on. Um, you know, I've got some other videos showing how to do you know a little more in depth on derailleur adjustments that I can I'll add here to the link at the end but other than that you just pop the the cover on and you are good to go uh, yeah thanks for watching the video um, let me know if you uh, have any questions or anything like that in the comments below and yeah we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching